Hello students. Today's topic is senior age. The revenue raised by the printing of money is called senior age. When the government prints money to finance its expenditure, it increases the money supply in an economy. This increase in the money supply in turn causes inflation. We have already studied this relationship between the money supply and the increase in price level in our last video of quantity theory of money part 4. Printing money to raise the revenue is like imposing an inflation tax. The question is who then pays the inflation tax? The answer is the holders of money. As prices rise, the real value of the money in your wallet falls. Let's understand this statement with the help of an example. Suppose the money that you had in your wallet is rupees. 100. Price level in an economy is assumed as rupees 5. Then the real value, the real value of the money that you had will be rupees 100 upon rupees 5, which is 20 units. So basically, your purchasing power, your purchasing power is 20 units. Okay. Now assume that the money you had is same, which is rupees 100, but the price level in an economy has been increased from rupees 5. To rupees 10. In that case, the real value or the purchasing power will be rupees 100 upon rupees 10, which is 10 units. So, as you can see, that when the price level in an economy is increased from rupees 5 to rupees 10, in that case, the real value of the money that you had or the purchasing power is reduced from 20 units to 10 units because now you are able to purchase 10 units from the money that you had. So your purchasing power has been reduced. Therefore, when the government prints new money for its use, it makes the old money in the hands of the public less valuable. So basically inflation is like a tax on holding money because the real value of the money that you had is reduced because of the increase in price level in an economy. When the government increased or, or when the government prints new money, it increases the money supply in an economy. Increase in money supply leads to inflation. That means the increase in price level due to which the real value or the purchasing power is reduced. So basically inflation is like a tax on holding money. Clear? Thank you.